It's Python on Hardware Time, Lady Ada. Yay, Belinka! Code plus community. That's what we are all about with CircuitPython. So, um, real quick, this is what we do every single week with this. This is adafruitdaily.com, and you can go and you can subscribe to the newsletter. Um, we're going to show the video from PyLeap. That's uh, one of our videos that we would normally uh, show during the 3D printing segment, because and Pedro did this. But uh, Trevor and Antonio and Scott and Katni and the team, uh, Marcos here, is doing testing on the app. So it's a group effort. It's pretty cool. It is magic. Uh, when you see what this can do with a phone and not using a computer to get and send Python code to a Bluetooth microcontroller, it is really neat. Um, next up, CircuitPython 710 beta, three is available. And like I said, we're gonna show that video in a second with PyLeap. Um, you can check out the Boston uh, College students. They demonstrate all their final projects using CircuitPython. It's a thing. If you're doing your final project on it, it's a thing. So you can check out all the projects that were posted up and more. Um, GitHub had a neat uh, code search um, that they can, uh, that they're rolling out. If you want, you could go to cs.github.com. They're doing a lot of uh, really interesting things, uh, and it's really helpful, I think, if you do Python in particular. Now, I'm not going to take credit for this, but every time I did like an interview or a podcast with GitHub and they said, what's your number one request? <laughs> I said, yeah. I want to be able to search forks. <laughs> So Search hopefully, <laughs> yeah. And then there's just news around the web. Um, you can see all sorts of things. There's a Python course for beginners. There's a for NeoTrinky uh, for this mouse jiggler thing. So one of the funny things is uh, there's companies that, well, let me just be really clear too. So Adafruit has a policy never to install spyware. We don't do anything like that. We never will. We don't even monitor our, uh, the employees' uh, internet stuff. Uh, there is better ways to work with one another, it turns out. So anyways, um, companies, because they have everyone working from home, they're like, oh, uh, we noticed that you're not at your desk um, because you know your mouse wasn't moving. So people are making these mouse jigglers, kind of cool. Um, Stargate, uh, 3D print, lights up and more. And then from protodrivers, preparation for a robot prototype, circuit Python code for you know the mouse jiggler uh, prank. Uh, there's this really beautiful 3D printed holder. And uh, this is kind of neat, Chinese students learning circuit Python and Python with Moo, and they said thank you, and also uh, Code with Moo is looking for some translation. So I'm going to pop over to the next portion, and that is just a little reminder that Blinka is here, and we have uh, something we want to show you with PyLeap, so take it away. Blinka. Hey, what's up, folks? In this video, we're checking out Adafruit's PyLeap. This is a mobile app that lets you upload projects to your CircuitPython device over Bluetooth. You can pair your mobile phone to your BLE compatible board by following the on-screen instructions. Then you can browse through the project gallery and select one to upload to your board. Just tap send bundle to transfer the code and libraries over Bluetooth. We think this is perfect for educational settings like in the classroom, workshops, or when you're on location. Next up, we're checking out Adafruit's Glider app. This is a mobile app that lets you browse your files on your CircuitPython device over Bluetooth. Using the File Explorer, you can tap on the files to edit them. Whether it's the color of NeoPixels or those sensor values, Glider lets you quickly make those edits over the air. This is great if you want to edit your code on a mobile device instead of a laptop or desktop. In this example, we can easily remove and delete files from the CircuitPython device. Here, we can grab files off Dropbox and upload them from your mobile phone to your CircuitPython board. Once saved to your device, we can use the native files app to copy the audio file and then navigate to the directory on the Circuit Playground Bluefruit. Here, we can tap and hold to paste our new audio file to the Circuit Playground Bluefruit. Now, we can quickly change the code and play back this new audio WAV file by pressing one of the buttons on the board. We think this new BLE workflow is great for folks who only have access to mobile devices with Bluetooth capabilities. We hope this inspires you to check out Adafruit's PyLeap and Glider. They're available to download for free. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos from Adafruit. So don't forget, reminder, if you want the Python on Hardware newsletter delivered to your inbox, it's that easy. Did you see what just happened? That's how you do it. Thank you, Adafruitdaily.com sign up and you'll get that newsletter.